Catching 360. My name is Mike. Guess where I am? Again, fourth time in a row. Rudakop is Dam, but I am at the waterworks thingamabob. The dam wall is outside there. We are really going to try catch a fish. It is now Thursday. We are until Sunday, so that gives us two full days of fishing. If I do not catch a fish at Rudakopis this time around, I'll just try again and try catch again next time. Anyway, so uh, we have set up, we actually got a little chalet because last time we fished at Hengelaar's friend, Hengelaar's Oort, which is across the road there, I froze my nuts off. Literally, it was the coldest I had ever been. So we're going to try and not do that again. Anyway, so we got ourselves an awesome chalet. I am with, you can see at the back there, I'm with Daniel and Martin and uh, we are set up. The wind came up a little bit. We're going to take the boat out now to go drop my lines. Uh, Daniel's lines are in. Martin lines, Martin's lines, not yet. And that is it. Supper soon. I'm jacked up. I've got two long pants, ten jackets, four hoodies, and all of that. So I will hopefully not get cold. But that's it. Hopefully we catch a fish this time around. And uh, if we do, you'll know. But first, a quick stop at Ridfle Dam to show you guys what we cooked. Eleven. Twelve. So guys, Daniel's rod just had a solid pull and the alarm went. <laughs> hey, so that's 14 kilos. Mm, are, you, nice. are you prepared to get wet? You say your, your, your PB is? Nine and a half. Nine and a half, there we go. I'll potentially call that you could be getting wet. That's a fish. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's yes, that oh, is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. He come at that. You can feel it. It's just like that. So you can feel movement. Awesome. So while Daniel is on uh, behind me, I'm going to I have my coffee and a rusk because uh, that was far out, man. Well, there it is. Our first fish for the day. Spot 17, 18. This guy's look at the star. Man. Let me focus on netting him. And uh, I'll show you. <laughs> yes, Dad. Yes. Yeah. Huh? He is beautiful. I reckon. I reckon. I've got a problem. I reckon, yeah. Because nine point? Five. Five. <laughs> this is a problem. I reckon, yeah. Someone might be getting wet. Yes. Look at that. This is a big thing. This is a very big thing. That is. This thing's bigger than something I've ever seen. That is someone's getting wet. Yes, that does. Do you want to tell? Let's unpack it. Look there. Copy cheese. Edma. Yes. Okay. Moment of truth. Nine point. Five. Five. Is that? Is that nine? Nineteen point seven. Nineteen point seven. 19.9 Okay, so we... Holy crap! Is it possible? Yeah! <laughs> that is a 30 pound fish! Yeah, I'm just gonna be getting another scale to confirm. I've got one here. See, that says... 
seven. No, it's not really curious. I weighed on my thing and it said 9.7. So just check yours might might be. Oh, that's why I say I don't trust it. Yeah. You just you got it. Oh, very soft, nice. Oh, okay. There we are, so we confirmed that's nine kilos, right? Yeah. Cool. Point six of a of a gram of a kilo away from getting wet. Well, good morning everyone. I have literally just woken up. I must say I had a really good sleep, so that was quite nice. Um, so we battled last night or yesterday to actually get lines in the water. I don't know if we were just mentally slow or whatever the case is, but anyway. We did make a bit of a feeding spot. Today we are going to hit it and hit it hard. We're going to replan everything, restructure our swim and uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully catch a fish this time. So uh, I've just woken up, Daniel is there, Martin's still sleeping, and uh, hey, check the sunrise. So Martin Rod ran. Eventually, we have something. So Daniel's grabbed it. Check us out. Yes, that looks good. He's really big-ish. It's popping now. So now, if this is bigger than 9.6, you get wet. No, Martin gets wet. <laughs> okay, he's coming. Uh, judging by the size of that tail, that's a nice one. Can you bring him in? <laughs> yeah. There is one serious crop. Yes, that's big. That is a very nice fish, that. Okay. I came so slow. Uh oh. Everybody's heavy. Mark, my swimming pump. Heavier. Heavier than nine kilos. Yes. Yes, eh? In the bottom, middle of the bottom. Yes. Jade Martin. Okay, let's check the truth meter there. Ten point five. Oh, I like ten point five. So ten point five. <laughs> double digit. Double well digit. No. <laughs> <laughs> that means someone's actually getting wet, eh? Okay, there we go. And Daniel, well done on your 10 kilo ah! car. That is your PV. Oh. Oh. Shit, this coat. <laughs> Call the fish. Yeah, I'm trying to, but the fish also had a fright. Oh. Now, well done. Hope it doesn't burn. Cop care. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. 
So after that fish, we decided to um, make some breakfast, chill out for the rest of the day. But unfortunately, that was all that we caught for that Friday. So on to the next day. So Saturday morning, Martin's rod ran again. He was still sleeping. So I suppose we'll just take this and, sorry Martin, we'll claim this as ours. Well, look who was woken up by his screaming alarm. Martin finally decided to join us. And obviously I think we will share the fish with him. So this is nice, this is like good early morning teamwork, this. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a big one. Mike, yes. Can get the yeah, sure. Um, Yo. Yeah. Yes, check it there. Good day. Check out the other thing for. Hey. Okay. Eh? Yes, it's a more fish here, though. There it is. No, it's 12 kilos. 12 on Okay, so that was basically a team effort. That was Martin's rod, Martin's rig. Daniel reeled it in up until the point and then he netted it, I reeled in. So it's a team effort. Maybe we're not going to get wet. We'll see. So I actually went and I put my rod or my stand in the water. Um, reason being, there's a lot of the sludge that we've been taking out that's been on the reels and all of that. So I'm hoping to just have my lines just over it. Whether or not that's worked, well, I don't really know, but we'll see. I literally just came to change quickly, so in like, you know, my usual fishing gear and uh, heard a real run. Daniel gave me a shout. He is on with uh, hopefully a good size fish because we decided that the last fish is a group effort. No one's going to get wet. I know. This one, however, that is his on his rod. He set up, so he'll have to get that. So, see what we can do there. And then hopefully I catch a fish. Let's see. Right, so situational update over here. Daniel's rod, the one that I told you guys that went now, but we've spent most probably the good part of 15 minutes trying to clear all this green sludge and algae. So now the rod has gotten stuck or snagged around something. So Daniel's just getting changed quickly, he's gonna hop onto the boat and he's going to see if he can't go in and see what's what's happening. Fish does still feel like it's on. And um, hey, for now, let's just wait and see. I can still feel something on here. Yeah, he's there. Definitely there. I thought that earlier, it's just getting there. So there you go, off into the sunrise. <laughs> That's cool. There, you guys see what I'm talking about? All this sludge over here. Yes. It's, um, it's fun, to say the least. Oh man, oh that marker that was in there. Oh man. Oh, oh. Supposed to be all made excuses. <laughs> So is that your excuse and you're sticking to it? Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, Martin's made me this little bag here. It's a PVA bag. Then, so my stand and everything is here in the water. So I'm just trying to get over all these reeds. Okay, so then 
I'm fishing with a tiger nut and a pop-up that yellow thing over there so that's gonna go in like so then this concoction of mine here Set this drag all the way down, set that. Okay, so in here, these are little coconut boilies that we mix up, they do sink. Normal milli bomb, um, we've got some of that. That's crazy pine that's on there, and stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. And that's it. This boat's going to go somewhere to Martin's one spot. And what I'm going to do here is just lead and guide the boat out so that we don't have the propeller messed up and mashed up in all this weeds and grass and bullshit that's here. So we're going to help the boat out, send it on its merry way. There, there, there. Let's just do that that mini bomb there to hold it down give it a shove okay martin you can go for it there it goes to martin spot number one let's hope it works all righty so we're all going out i borrowed these from uh daniel these are docs alarms because you know we're hoping to catch big fish and I've caught nothing so let's hope guys so then the second rod that's going to be ready now as well that's got three tiger nuts on and it has got jumbo's um banana paste so I'll put that on I'll show you guys that and it's going to be a very similar setup the reason why I'm taking the boat out to that spot of Martin's because my spot that I had over here that permanently gets stuck so there's obviously some sort of bullshit in there anyway that's the story all righty guys so similar setup there's actually my little kite if you guys can see there so that just brings all the stuff up out of the water i'm going to give it a push away from all that sludge all right and go there she goes we catch that fish so you can see we're not using the aculines now just because there is all this weed and rubbish and gunk i mean look yeah this is what's kind of floating right on top and this is what i'm trying to avoid so my main line and if you can see it there it is there it's running straight over this and basically pretty much a couple of meters forward the dam seems to clear out of it so this is what it is but this whole setup is to try and avoid all this shit over here while we wait for the fish to bite, we are all standing here discussing why butter these days is so crap. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing we can do about that. But, uh, so, lines in, so we wait. Yes, please, guys, have a look see I finally <laughs> have a fish. <laughs> finally. <laughs> yes, please. I bloody well hope so. We'll see. <laughs> so far, I've got grass. Doesn't matter, really. She's on the edge. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Grab that because I can't reel anything further than that. That is awesome. Let's get this bucket ready for long. That's where the fish are healthy, you know. And Mike is not helping. Yes, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, I hope this is a lack of one. 
Guys, there we go. So I'm gonna stand on the shore here and uh, try and bring this in. <sighs> Check out that. Oh, it looks like a small one. But I'll take it. Right. Thanks, definitely a nice one, just check this. Yeah, let's go away and just one of the Yeah. So it's okay the one that doesn't lie. Yeah, there's a part of <laughs> I reckon. I didn't want it. Fuck. There we go, there it is. Six and a half kilos. Is that a PB? It is, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. There you go. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, that's the car. Right. Alrighty. Are okay. you ready? Congratulations to your new PB. Ready. Six and a half kgs. Six and a half kgs, that's it. May more come today. Look at this one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks. Well done. Shit. Well done, Mike. Oh, fuck it, you go! Fuck it! Shit, let's go! Here we are, six and a half kilos. The water's cold. Let's go put it back. Oh, there she goes. Done. Oh, yeah. So, after Martin finishes dying that side. <laughs> so, to celebrate that, and because it's cold, <laughs> awesome. We've got the bait boat going out now again. Um, in there, we've got Loki's signature series particle mix, some mix that uh, Martin made for us. And then he's got a whole bunch of these like goo dips and I, I actually I don't know what they are to be honest with you Specimen is still very new to me I obviously just put my spray of uh, Jumbo's Crazy Pine on because that's what I know and uh, Boat's taking it out Don't ask me what rig we have on but it's got a weight that can come loose So whatever you call that and uh, It's like a round type of weight um, So apparently it's designed to come loose. There's a lot of like this rope, I don't even know if it's braid, but it's like it's like thick if it is braid. It's like this little rope type of thing. Um, so yeah, specimen is something I'm still learning. I don't know a lot about it. I just know you catch a big fish. A lot of particles have gone on and some little hessian bag type of thing. And oh, that reel just got stuck there. And all of that. So, yeah. Let's see, let's see if we catch another fish. I really hope so. We'd love to break that PB again as well. But um, again, a con moan man, six and a half kilos was a nice fish. Okay, so that's how the hook bait looks. So the three tiger nuts, this bag with some whatever sauce that is on. And have a look at this. Did I put it in on? Oopsie, yeah, come here. Keep it in there. So that. A bucket full of feed, three tiger nuts, whatever Martin's got in there. That is some crazy pine again, and uh, here we go. So I'm just going to navigate the boat through all of the sludge and bullshit quickly. And there we go. There she goes. So luckily, I'm only balls deep in cold water. A bath is still dry. Let's go. So guys, there we go, the last of the bait boats are going in. I'm sitting by the fire and having some coke, you know, with ice, that's all. And um, that's it, last night here tonight. So just gonna sit back, relax, enjoy the fire, enjoy the camaraderie. And um, you know, I encourage you guys to come do this as well. We have a guy by the name of Leand. What? 
Leandru. We have a guy by the name of Leandru, yeah. And uh, I was literally in the shower. Gonna have a shower now. Actually, I was. Coming. <laughs> Serious. Jeez. They just told me he caught his PB. So this poor sucker's gonna get wet. So Leandru. Or Nardi. Leandru, yeah. Congrats, buddy, but I'm sorry as well. Because it's press cold. So 14-4. Well, it is what it is, man. You know the life the dilemma? Yeah. It is, yes, I want the big one, I don't want it now. <laughs> yeah. Mike, you want it? Okay, so you come to you. Yeah, 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 I want to film it. I'll do the honor. Yeah, yeah dude, that is amazing. He's a glimpse for you. Say so hard. Sit up your beer in here. Sit up your beer in here, sir. That's bad, man. Why are you my friend? I don't have the edge, man. Well done. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> A nice early morning present, this. Eh? <laughs> It doesn't feel big. It feels big enough. Awesome. Here's another one. Awesome. <laughs> the clip. Just a nice fat stomach, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's cool. That's but not everyone. You see what she says? Yeah. That's what the truth, truth meter says there. Six. It's, <laughs> it's lucky now. Yeah. Not really, but yeah. yeah. Six. Six. Daniel just had a serious run. Check it. Yes, like uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. How far is that out? About 250 meters. Cool. So yeah, so they actually got to go out and uh, get this fish for the boat. There's Daniel's bucket of water. <laughs> because we can. Okay, so let's go see. So 
How's Daniel's uh, logfish? Pretty cool. Apparently that one took on a uh, uh, pineapple tiger nut. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, it was a good run. So what I actually learned on this trip, which I find quite awesome and fascinating, is your tiger nuts. Let me grab a tiger nut out here quickly and I want to show you guys this. So like I said, the whole specimen world, still very new to you. However, so this is your tiger nuts here. I've always been putting them on sort of like sideways like this. But apparently you're supposed to pop them up and trim the bottom and top edges off so it's like quite neat and square and that's how you put them on. Now I didn't know that and we, I've done that now on this rod going out so we'll see. Unfortunately I can't bring you a lot of information on um, specimen fishing because I myself don't know but slowly but surely we are busy learning and uh, yeah that's it so it's pretty cool guys i don't want to give a good and a huge shout out and just a really big thank you to conical conical it's daniel's company they have sponsored this whole trip for us so daniel conical thank you very much i'll put the link in the description below his web page go check it out you guys will quite like it then our nets we are on 1929 subscribers as of now another 70 to go we're giving us two nets away so um that's just from us to say thank you very much for watching us do all our little things and fish because that's what we enjoy doing so uh, once we hit 2,000 subscribers those nets will be given away so uh, we've been using them the whole weekend and you know what they they're pretty cool i like them daniel seems to like them as well well he obviously bought i've got and uh, they're, they're pretty cool but guys that is it for now for this little section now we're gonna make breakfast I'll show you how the breakfast is gonna look it's gonna be bacon eggs and more bacon we've got six packs of bacon and we all fat and unhealthy and we're just gonna eat all of it so that's gonna be pretty cool then uh, if we catch another fish trust me you guys will see we are still hoping to break that PB my PB 6.5 and I'm hoping to get a double digit one so that's cool anyway let's see what happens Check it there, check it there. Alrighty, go for it. Again, again. This nemesis we have of rotocopies is hopefully it's come to an end. History. Awesome man, awesome. So there's the damn wall that runs over there and that was fairly close to that structure. So, Bob's your uncle man. Because it's um, in the water, you can't really see the size of it. No, this thing's big. You got someone else's line here as well. Okay, let me calibrate it there quick. You lay down over the vehicle board. No. Eight point four. Eight point. So you're not getting wet. Eight point four. Uh, uh. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Check it out. Yeah, can't see. Can see, and I can hear you complaining. Well done. Standing. Yeah. Right, now it's your turn, eh? Yes, man. Hope so. Because blood, Jesus. Yes. There she is, well done man. <laughs> Fuck, that was nice. <laughs> so that brings our week to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a lot to learn about specimen fishing and the rigs. Apparently what I use is called the Ronnie rig. Mm -hmm. So uh, very different to what I'm used to, but I'm getting into it. I'm starting to understand a little bit more about specimen fishing. So yeah, if you guys want to just bear with me while I learn everything myself, uh, you can follow along, that'll be great. 
But guys, again, thank you very much for joining. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers, so thank you very much. Remember, those nets are up for grabs. And um, hey, that's it. So we're going to head home now. It is now a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Kids, wife, everyone's waiting for us. So it's time to head home now. But guys, thank you very much for watching. And as, as always, you take care, stay safe. We'll catch you again. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in